Hello crafty friends. For today's prompt of create directions, I thought it would be a good idea to try and attempt to create my own paint by numbers. I will start as always by doing two layers of gesso on my pages. This will prime them and waterproof them to allow them for painting. If you're new to my channel, this video is part of a series that I'm creating for Create This Book. Create This Book is an art journal with prompt created by a young lady called Mariah Elizabeth. I do have the details of that in the description of this video. Now to start the paint by numbers, we obviously will need a picture. I thought the easiest way to do this was to find an adult coloring in page that I found on Pinterest that I liked. I found one of a toucan. It has lots of different sections and segments which will allow for a lot of the coloring and the painting. So I would just copy that, not exactly, I haven't traced it, I'm just sort of using it as inspiration. And I'm putting a little few designs on the toucan so there's more additional color and things to paint. I'm just doing this to start off with, with soft pencil so I can erase it where I need and make corrections. Once I was happy with the design, I used a black fine liner to trace around all the drawing areas. When this is all done, it looks a bit like something out of an adult coloring in book. I'm sure there's lots of other ways that you can create your own paint by numbers. But for me, um, I thought this would be the easiest and the simplest way to get started. I'm now going to get all my paints together. I'm just using the acrylic paints that I have and I just start off putting a number on each little tub and then corresponding that to a color that I want on my toucan. This is not an exact science. Some of the areas I knew exactly what colors I wanted, some of the others though I didn't. So there are some areas I've left without numbers. I will color those near the end once I see what will actually suit that area. So this is not exactly 100% paint by numbers but it's pretty close. On the left page you can also see I've created little squares where my color code is going to be and then I'll start painting. My paints are not the best quality. They're pretty low priced that I've gotten from Kmart here in Australia. So some of them are not very thick and are transparent. So I do go over some areas a second and some even a third time as the layers dry. I also erase the pencil numbers underneath before I paint just to avoid that shining through. These leaves don't look great now because the paint is quite thin but I will go over them a couple of times before the end and they will look better. I made a bit of a mistake here. I decided to add an additional brown color for the bark, but as I'd already numbered all the other colors, the sequencing then fell out. So I had to renumber some of the items. But I think a lesson from this is make sure you have all the colors you want before you get started. Did you know that some toucans have blue feet?
Once I finish the first day of painting, I go over some areas that are very thin and transparent just to make them look a little better. Once I've finished all my painting and it has dried, I'm using a black fine liner just to go around the edges of my little color boxes, just to neaten them off. And then I use a thicker marker to do the numbers. Here I'm using a paint marker pen just to add some definition to the leaves. Some finishing touches to my toucan and we're nearly done. And there is my completed paint by numbers that I created. I do hope you enjoyed this process. I hope you were inspired to maybe create your own paint by numbers. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you can get notification of all my new videos coming up. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon. Bye.